The measure of our actions must always be whether they advance the right of Israeli and Palestinian children to live lives of peace and security and dignity and opportunity. And we will only succeed in that effort if we can encourage the parties to sit down. Negotiation, says the president and say American Jews, is the only road to peace. So the Palestinian bid for statehood through the UN, they argue, undermines the peace process. It's a step that says, to hell with the peace process. Mm -hmm. We're going our own way, and we're going to get the support of the automatic majority in the General Assembly. The Jewish community is especially concerned about Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas's argument for requesting UN membership. In the New York Times earlier this year, he wrote, it could clear the way for Palestinian legal action. It would also pave the way for us to pursue claims against Israel at the United Nations, human rights treaty bodies, and the International Court of Justice. A lot of Palestinians don't feel Netanyahu is willing to, to make peace, uh, so they're doing this. But the truth of the matter is, they've been the missing seat at the table. Come back to the table. The Israeli Prime Minister has said, I'm ready to meet you anywhere, no preconditions. Israel's supporters complain Palestinians in the past have rejected offers of land for peace from previous Israeli administrations. Most notably, Yasser Arafat in 2000 said no when Israel's Ehud Barak offered him what he had demanded, a Palestinian state with its capital in East Jerusalem. Israel has been willing to give up more than 90-plus percent of the West Bank and give additional land swaps to make sure the Palestinians have all the land they need for a viable, successful state. The greatest worry of Israel's supporters, the fact that the Palestinians remain divided. Hamas, considered a terrorist organization by the U.S., runs the Gaza Strip and remains committed to the destruction of Israel. The late Abba Ibn, Israel's scholarly diplomat, used to complain the Arabs never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. But eventually, peace accords did come with Egypt and Jordan. Now Israel's supporters hope a deal can be reached with the Palestinians. Another famous saying from Ibn was, history teaches us that men and nations behave wisely once they've exhausted all other alternatives. Alan Chernoff, CNN, New York.